we are learning about dividing using repeated subtraction. This is the symbol for dividing. When you divide something, you share it into equal groups. Here's an example of dividing. I have 10 apples. And I am going to share my 10 apples amongst two people. I can do this by equally sharing them out, like this. One for this person, one for this person. Another one for this person, another one for this person. And I'm going to keep going sharing them one for each person until they're all shared out. And I can see that each person gets five apples. The way that I write this as a number story is 10 apples divided by two people equals five apples each. Let's look at that same problem again. 10 apples shared amongst two people. Another way I could work this out is by using repeated subtraction. That means that I'm just going to keep subtracting. So I'm going to start with 10 apples. And because I'm sharing them amongst two people, I'm going to take away 2. 10 take away 2 equals 8. Now I'm going to go 8 apples, take away another 2, equals 6. Now I've got 6 apples, I'm going to take away another 2, equals 4. 4 apples, take away another 2, equals 2. And 2 apples, take away 2, equals 0. If I have a look here at how many times I took away, I can see that I took away two. One, two, three, four, five times. So I know that ten divided by two people equals five because I took away two five times. The answer is the same but the strategy is different. Let's have a look at another problem. This time I have 15 lollipops and there are three people who want the lollipops. So I'm trying to work out what 15 divided amongst three people will equal. I'm going to use my first strategy of equal sharing to work this out. So I'm going to equally share out the lollipops to the three people until each person has the same amount. Okay, let's check if each person has the same amount. This person here has one, two, three, four, five lollipops. This person has one, two, three, four, five. And this person has one, two, three, four, five. So I know that 15 lollipops shared amongst three people equals five lollipops each. Okay, let's look at doing that same number story using my strategy of repeated subtraction. So again, I have 15 lollipops 
and I want to share those 15 lollipops equally amongst my three people so that they get the same amount each. So I'm going to start with 15 and I'm going to take away three because that's how many people I'm sharing it amongst. That gives me 12. Now I'm going to do 12 take away three. That gives me nine. Then I'm going to go nine take away three equals six. And then six take away three equals three. And three take away three equals zero. Let's see how many times I had to take away three. One, two, three, four, five. I took away three five times. So let's look at that as a number story. Fifteen lollipops divided amongst the three people. Each person gets five lollipops because I had to take away three five times. So in summary, there are two ways that you can work out your division problems. You could equally share out so that each person gets the same amount. Or you could use repeated subtraction and see how many times you subtracted to find out the same answer.